All right, guys. So here we are with a slightly weird challenge. So we're going to call this the, uh, I think it was the Nacho deck challenge. Because we're not allowed to play any units from our previous opponent's decks. So this is the deck I'm currently starting off with because my previous opponent was playing Missile Shock, Quad Tech, Solomon. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to keep tallying every unit my opponents play. And we're going to increasingly try and build a deck that functions without any of the units we've played against in the previous games. Um, this might end up being impossible. I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. We might end up with some truly horrible decks. We've already got seven units we can't play. Obviously, if we play against the same unit again, it doesn't affect us. And obviously, if we play against Nod, I guess that doesn't affect us either. Hmm, I haven't really thought about this. Because <laughs> if we just play against Nod a bunch of times, it doesn't impact our deck in any way. Maybe we have to switch faction, and then we'll keep track of the Nod and GDI units. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. We might have to do, like, it might, it might five games might not be enough. I guess we'll see. All right, so we're up against Solomon, which obviously makes no difference because we already couldn't play Solomon. Three, two, one. New uh, opening rifles with jump jet is actually pretty terrible. This is like a pretty bad opening combo because if your opponent opens wheels, you don't really want to use Solomon. So you don't want to use jump jets against wheels. Um, so yeah, this, this can be really bad against uh, a wheel opening. You kind of have to just transition into a different building very quickly. So our anti-infantry is APC and Talon. He definitely want to charge the missile. He's probably going to go second shock trooper here. Yep, there it is. So we're going to back up and go for a Talon. And try and punish the double shock build from our opponent. Going to get off this pad when we get onto this one because I don't want to stall the missile. Oops. Trying to get on these pads. Alright, missiles. Talon beats missile 1v1, so no big deal there. They put on defense at least, which we are. So we'll take that out. We have the talons to deal with the shocks. We're going to let this rifleman die as well. Unfortunately, the talon missed micro there. It decided to walk forward, so he's going to lose to the missiles now. But the new talon will win. So we should get this missile fairly easily. Yeah, here we go. And there's second half from our opponent. Alright, cool. So that's first missile down. We're going to try and get APCs now. Try and lose these talons and this rifle squad. Yeah, there goes one talon, that's nice. Gonna lose the rifleman as well. An APC in position. We'll get double APC here. We're gonna lose this talon as well. Not a big deal though, we'll get another rifle. Not sure I can dodge this iron can with the APC. Oh, I dodged it about some of it, going to about half damage. Not really sure what that Iron Cannon was supposed to do. Wow, level 7 Grenz. Oh my god, I'm sorry, man. I didn't even notice his base at level 9 until now. But yeah, level 7 Grenz, that feels pretty bad. I'm sorry, Flieger. I didn't know your levels were so terrible. Alright, so we know we definitely can't play Grenz. That's the only additional unit I think we've seen from this one. You are victorious. Okay, so now we can't play... Additionally, we can't play Grenz, Orca, Sandstorm. So our tech units options are pretty limited if we wanted to play tech. But this actually... Oh, I had Orca. Okay, so we do have to change Orca out. Um, let's do Mohawk, I guess. This deck is looking pretty sketchy already. Yeah, so Orca is the only thing we have to change from that fight. Yes, Dark Phoenix. We're going to do additive bands and see how it goes. I think it'll be more interesting with additive bands. Alright, so we've got GDI again. So now we definitely can't play Jackson either. I hope this guy doesn't make Rifleman, because if I can't make Rifleman or Shocks, we're going to have to play like Dog opening into APC, which is pretty sketchy. All right, he went double harvester, so he can't do double harvester. I'm just kidding, that doesn't have any impact. Can't take harvester out of my deck, sadly, so I can't stop playing harvester. All right, so let's see what MDS1 makes. Oh, shock troopers. Oh no, I can't make shock troopers for the third time. <laughs> it's insane how popular shock troopers are. Wow, and a boost? Ooh, so aggressive. All right, good beats, good beats. I mean, he spent 70 to kill... 20 cost of rifles, so I'm not too upset. 
And he's going to be completely broke now, so there's no way he can fight these Talons. Yeah, should be a pretty easy missile from here. Yep, there's the Pitbull, but it's really late because uh, because he spent so much on the Shock Troopers. And we'll go Mohawk to fight that Pitbull. So Pitbull, obviously that sucks because now we can't play Pitbull either. So our deck is gonna our deck is gonna start looking pretty awkward very soon once we have to take Pitbull out. And we can't play Hammerheads anymore, which uh, is not a big deal yet, but could it could definitely be a big problem later on. Okay, so we're gonna Pitbull Mirror for a while. I wanna try and get an APC if I can. He's probably gonna go missiles, one would assume. Oh, Predator Tank. Uh oh, that's actually pretty scary. Oh, we have jump jets. No big deal, no big deal. I was gonna say we don't have anything fast that can get in there quickly, but we have jump jets. He also has gone jump jets. Uh oh, that means we can't play jump jets either. Oh, this guy had a lot of units we wanted to play. <laughs> this is definitely not good. This is definitely not good for us. We'll use the Pitbull to block the shocks from getting to my uh, getting to my jump jets. And then we'll make Talon spam. And I, I can't tire it on the other side on this map. Oh my god. Strong arm is horrible on this map. I had no idea it was so bad on this map. Alright, take out the shock trooper. Let's get onto this pad. Get another Talon. He's probably gonna go jump uh, hammerhead. No, I guess he can't afford it. Alright, Talon spam, living the dream. Alright, nice. So we did win that, but we lose a lot of units. We can't play Pitbulls or Jump Jets anymore. So that's pretty horrible. Enemy base destroyed. Okay, so we can't play JJT, Pitbull, Pred, Kodiak, or Hammerhead. So I think that's all tech units out now. We can't play... We can't play Wolverine, Zone, Titan, Mammoth, Orca... Oh, sorry, Sandstorm, Kodiak. We can still play these two. Yay. <laughs> okay, so we need to take out Jump Jets and Pitbull. Hmm. How am I supposed to have any anti-air? Do I have to just play Slingshot? I can't play Hammerheads either. I guess we have to play Slingshot. Slingshot. Eyes on the oh sky. my god, this deck is going to suck ass. Do we play Grens? It's so horrible. Yeesh. Yeesh, this deck is looking awful now. Oh, we can't play Jackson either. I didn't write down Jackson. I guess, what happens if we lock out all the commanders? <laughs> didn't a dude play Grenz? Uh, yep, you're right. I've got Grenz written down. I can't play Grenz either. Okay. Um, well then, I'm not allowed to play Missile Gren or Jump Jet anymore. I think we have to play Fortress in that case. I think we have to do this. Okay, so we're locked out of all and we're locked out of all anti-vehicle infantry now. So I've decided to just go for War Factory 2 Air, which is kind of what um oh there's riflemen, so we would have been locked out of barracks pretty much anyway now. Uh so yeah, we're gonna play this deck, which is kind of similar to what uh Peter plays on ladder, except he has um he has Predator Tank instead of MRS, which I think is probably better. I'm not sure. Oh, I need to finish off some more riflemen here. Yeah, so we're going to spam dogs until we can get APC. We also want to stall the first missile. Because, uh... We want to stall the first missile because we need to get to APC, basically. To fight the missile troopers. We have a pit bull. Okay, so we're still going to have to go APC, I think. We need to definitely get this stall on. And then we're going to go... Oh my god, I have to go MLRS to fight the Pitbulls. Oh, this deck is horrible. Alright, here we go, MLRS. I don't think it's going to be in time. Get the dogs as well. Come on, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, MLRS. Yes! Oh yes, we survived! We're still alive, boys! We did it! We did it, Reddit! Still alive! <laughs> yes! Do you see, Krausarius? Do you see? <laughs> Oh, insane. I can't believe we're still alive. Alright, let's hope he doesn't make an air unit. Let's go and scout his base. Oh, he's got an air tower. I hate to see it. I hate to see it. Orca. I guess we sling the shots and put it here. He's gonna shoot the Orca. He's gonna shoot the APC, right? That's good, because I get some missiles. Oh my god, get Shrekt. Get Shrekt, Krausarius! Alright, let's uh, Liang this back up. It's super low now. And we'll fall back. Bring the fortress back up here. 
Oh my god, this deck is horrible. I don't like. I want to move the APC to fight, but this is the only tile I can move it to where it can still fight. Let's get another APC, and let's block the Orca from getting at the Slingshot. If he goes, if he wants to go for my heart, I'm, I'm a okay with that. I don't care about that at all. I'll just win the game, man. <laughs> I'll just win the game if you want to go for the heart. Fine by me, my dude. Fine by me. All right, here comes the Orca. Yeah, he runs away again. Oh no! No! <laughs> no! Missile troops, go get the orca quickly! <laughs> oh my god, what a nightmare. Okay, okay, we're alive, we're alive. It's okay, bring the slingshot in. Oh, I think we did it. I think we're gonna win. We have talons as well, we probably should... Yes! yes! <laughs> the greatest game of rivals that has ever happened. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so now we can't play... Oh, he had APC in his deck? Are you kidding me? Okay, so now we can't play Rifle, APC, Drone, additionally. Dude, are there any units left? So we have to take out the APC, and we can't play Rifleman or Drone Swarm. What do we... I, I mean, I have nothing left that kills infantry. Do I play Razorback? I think I have to play Razorback now. Oh, this is going to be horrendous. Okay, so we play Razorback... Is Mohawk good enough, or do we play Borka? I mean, this deck is a mess, right? Do I play Rhino? Okay, so... Our anti is just Sling Talon. That's... Yeah, this might work. Can't play Predator. Predator's banned. Okay, I think this is it. I think this is the deck. It's horrible, but what are you gonna do? Three, two, okay. One. So now we're doing a sniper deck. Um, yeah, this deck is horrendous. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So we're up against Moringa. Right, he's got missiles. That's fine. We can spam some dogs for a bit until we get to make our snipers. I'm really sad we lost APC because APC also gave us missile troopers, which was amazing because we have no way to build missile troopers without the APC. So being able to get being able to get uh, missiles out of the APC was really really good. No other building yet. Just gonna wait and see what- okay, more missiles, so we'll go snipers. Oh wow, he boosted as well, that's not gonna end well for him. His own snipers? Oh my, how exciting. So the important thing in the sniper mirror is to fire first, which we did because we retargeted. There you go, we win the sniper mirror easily. Okay, cool, so we take first missile. I don't think I should be playing Liang anymore, actually, now I think about it. I should go back to Strong Arm. Because Liang was for the, um... Liang was for the, uh, APC more than anything. Okay, so he goes Drone Storm and Orca with a Slingshot. We're surrounding it as well, so he can't get at it with the Orca. And we're gonna let the Snipers die, it's just the way it is. I'm definitely dead here, so whatever. And then we'll get some more Snipers for the Missile Troopers, which again, he's boosted for some reason. Another Orca. Slingshot should hopefully be able to handle that because it's blocked. Come on. Yeah, okay, Orca can't cross that much distance and then still uh, still take out the Slingshot. Alright, so Snipers are doing a good job. I think, I think we just win here. I mean, he boosts it as well. Is that going to kill it now? Oh, close, but not quite. <laughs> slingshot OP, my dudes. Slingshot confirmed OP. Mission accomplished. Yeah, I can't play snipers anymore. This guy killed snipers for me. Oh my God. And Jug? Oh no! So snipers and Jug are out as well now. So now we have to play Razorback, right? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna play Razorback. Razorback I think is the next best. I actually think I want Liang now, because I'm playing Razorback and Mohawk. Okay, so we've gone for Razorback as our anti-infantry now. Now that we're back on a vehicle anti-infantry unit, I've decided to stick with uh, Liang. Because now I can do Razorback Mohawk combo, which is pretty good with Liang. So one of the big problems is that now that Razorback's been nerfed, Razorback you used to be able to go dogs and then your opponent goes missiles and you can go Razorback to kill all the missiles. But now that Razorback's been nerfed, it doesn't kill all the missiles as well as it used to. 
So this is definitely going to be harder than uh, than it was pre Razorback nerf because we have to spam dogs to hold off missiles at the start of the game. And he's just going to make tons of missiles, and then we have to hope that a Razorback is in time to get us back into the game. We're actually going to have to go and stall the missile because we're just not even at Razorback yet. Alright, so now we get the dogs to absorb the shots whilst the Razorback kills the missiles. Kind of like the thing you do with wheels and chuggy against lasers. Mohawk. We have sling for that, which isn't amazing, but we haven't got a lot of options. Oh, it can go on the lake! Insane! Hover OP, my dudes. You heard it here first. Oh, what? I got a hammerhead. Alright, no problem. I mean, we don't need to kill this hammerhead to win the missile, so I'm just gonna, just gonna win the missile and ignore the hammerhead. Okay, I guess we'll make some more dogs. I don't want to make Razorback. I guess I can make Razorback now, actually. Because we got the slingshot to kill the hammer. Yeah, as long as we stay near the sling, we'll be okay. Alright, let's put the slingshot here. Have the Razorback take care of the missiles for us. Alright. Maybe some more dogs to go down here. Bring the razor back across. I want to bring it around the back of the missile so the hammerhead can't get at me without going through the sling shot. Yeah, here we go. Get this up here. No idea what else is in his deck. He's pretty much... Oh, it's a mammoth tank. Okie dokie. Guess we're going Mohawk. And that's going up here. And this Mohawk basically just needs to live until the missile fires. That's how we win this game. So we're going to Liangra on it and hope a hammerhead doesn't take it out in time. Got him! Got him! See you later, lag a lot. Pew pew pew! Enemy base destroyed. Okay, so we're losing... I don't know if we're losing any units for this lot. Oh, that was it! We did it! That was the last game! Oh my god, I'm so happy that we're done. <laughs> I thought that that last deck was going to be an absolute monstrosity. Let's take a look at what we would have actually lost. Uh, oh, Mohawk. We would have lost Mohawk. <laughs> yeah, we also, we only played against GDI, which actually made the challenge work quite well, because it meant that um, we lost GDI units every time. If we played against Nod, it would have been, it would have been awkward. But we only played against GDI, so thankfully that worked out pretty well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't even know what we're calling this challenge. I think it was the Nacho deck challenge because we don't copy the opponent's deck. We do the opposite. Ah, excellent. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you next time.